Hey everyone, it's Jarkus. Welcome back to Star Fox. And we're doing level 2. Star Fox team, our last resort has counterattacked Venom. This is the same line I said in level 1. It's been a few weeks, perhaps even months since I did uh, part 1. Now it all starts out the same, but very soon you're going to see it's quite a bit different. Let's go! Here we go. See, level layer is entirely different even though it starts on Corneria. Quite different from future games where they all had just branching pathways. But if it's a Star Fox game, Slippy always gets in trouble the most and always sounds pathetic. Same awesome uh, Corneria theme. I mean, Star Fox 64 is often credited as the most def best and defining game of the series, but I'd say its music is very bland compared to Star Fox 1. Alright, are these floating things? You want to take them out before it drops too many of these, uh floating bombers or whatever they are. Is there any crawl on the ground? There we go, we got rid of them. We can roll to the side a bit. Come on now. There we go. There ain't too much to say. No. I've been thinking of doing Star Fox 64 for years. But I'm not sure the best way to do it. I did try doing Star Fox Assault once, but it just didn't work out. And if you could fly just the right way, you can go right in between those two without taking any damage. And how did I not take out either one of them robots? I don't know. I just saw these pillars. I would say pillars, no threat, but I just crashed into one. If you just keep going like normal, they can't touch you. Just a bit farther in. I did not mean to... Uh, crash into the, that attack right before the checkpoint. Oh, I missed it. And the first boss is still exactly the same. It's the attack carrier. If you just hold Y, it'll do like four shots at once. And somehow I didn't hit it at all, except very slightly. Okay, we're getting back into it. Let's go. Alright, that's some weird lack of hit detection. And first stage is complete. And the sparkles really took a while to get out of there. This one might be hard to think of commentary because I said just about everything I have to say about the game in general uh, during part one. But hey, Sector X. It don't look like a sector, but more like a bunch of pluses. 
and Darcy's force intended to build a base in this area. Destroyed that rock crusher. Yeah. And even though it's the same dialogue as the first asteroid level, it is way, way different. Oh, there we go, there's a little guy flying out when he was throwing the shit. I was expecting to see it in the Venom airspace of level 1, but I didn't see it. I guess maybe it's just not on that rail. I always thought it was. I like how the last one you're really flying down through space. But here it looks like you're still pretty close to Corneria. We even have this thing to get a one up. Where? Oh, that's you, Peppy. I almost didn't recognize you. You blend it right in. These things can be a little annoying to dodge. But we got it covered. Just a little bit more, and we're done. More importantly, stay centered. Flying to get the snowball upgrade. So glad you to keep your formation the whole time. It's very easy to pinpoint where I have to shoot. No, no, no. And this stage really benefits from the shield. Just because there's a lot that you can collide with. And I missed a checkpoint. And I don't mean just these spinning things that you have to go off center for. All of you. What? I'm back to normal? Rolling did not shield me with the shield? That's pathetic. Okay. You know what? Maybe I do have some stuff to talk about. Like, this game seems so hard for years to me. These days it seems a lot more straightforward. Though this section is ridiculous. Like everything's flying at you at once. You can't tell what's what. And where's the thing chasing a heavy? There it is. Okay. You know what? That's fine. I didn't get much I shield wings from it, but that's okay. I'm not gonna need it. Come on. Get over there. Ooh, narrow miss. The big difference between this rock crusher and the original is that two big differences is that it never shut... Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What? What the hell? No, seriously, what the hell just happened? Oh, I'm gonna have to start over. I'll meet you back there. It figures as soon as I get done saying the game's a lot easier than I recall it being. I get my ass killed. I'm much faster than usual. <laughs> I guess overconfidence is the key to failure or something like that. Now what's with this thing? It's shooting less missiles than before. But yeah, that battle is pretty much the same. Just with more missiles. No creaking on the ship. So I'm pretty sure the creaking in this chair is picking up on the mic. Okay, not bad. We sort of bounce back. Not too bad. There's no distress visions coming from here.
and it just says the planet. Cornelia has resources for what has been overrun. You must retake the water control unit. Good luck. Alright, we can do this. Yeah, nothing like the desert wasteland in Star Fox 64, is it? Yes. Yeah, you know, it's supposed to be Titania, but you know what? I didn't know that for almost 20 years because I heard it. I never heard it spoken aloud outside of Star Fox 64. And they called it Titania. Well, I guess it could be called that based on the word Titan. But that does not apply here. Who needs Freshina for a snow level when you have this? Come on. Come on! No, th this stage will actually repeat itself eventually. Until you fix the, the weather control device. Well, part of it will. So we'll just skip ahead a bit. Now what's here on the left? I forget. Oh, just an enemy. Yeah, so if you want to stock up on healing or you need two laser upgrades, this is the place to be. But anyway, to progress, we just fly into that. And now everything changes. Went from a uh, Blue color scheme to red. This is almost like volcanic looking. Like, it's very different. But we still have some of these crystal things. And why don't you punch your mouth, old man? So yeah, now it's just making it to the end. Okay, I was maybe a bit careless there. Alright, but we do need some extra health. So where are we gonna get it from? And you take a lot of hits. And there we go. Not you again. Not you. Why didn't you roll? How dare you, you fox? How dare you defy the commands I inputted? Alright, no crashing into that one. This one give health? No, it don't. Of course it don't. We haven't ha gotten health dropped in quite a while. Maybe... Oh, these definitely won't. Yeah, this boss is gonna be tough. This is actually a much more unique boss compared to the others. You'll see why. Bye, 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 bye. What's going on? He's running away. This actually sounds like ominous. Anyway, these birds will come out of the floor. I'm gonna shoot them out quickly. Then the boss will show up. And he'll send even more birds at you. And he'll split. He don't split apart too much on me, actually. Sometimes he'll try and ram you 
and you have to go left to right. Ah, that feels much better. I didn't... You know what, Falco? I don't think I saw you say a single word the entire mission. Peppy and Slippy said stuff. Mostly out of distress. But they had a presence. <laughs> but not you. And here's the most pain in the ass stage on this route. If an amoeba clings to your ship, use LR to get rid of it. Good luck. You are Arming's Pepper. So are we actually your employees? Alright, when you see these yellow orange stingrays, you want to shoot them, otherwise, they'll crash into you. What's an amoeba, you might ask? Well, you're gonna find out very soon. You're not welcome. Give me some energy, then you'll be welcome. So stay out of my way, Slippy. These things are amoeba. And they can get stuck to the ship pretty quite easily. But you want to get rid of them as quickly as possible. Because they can drain your health while they're attached. And if you shoot them, they're more likely to home in on you a slight bit. Oh, I'm being where are right? Yeah, if you, that one, if you shoot, it's the opposite of the ones at the beginning. It'll come at you. What? You killed it? Damn you, Pepe. How'd you make me? <laughs> I didn't even see it, and I saved him. Find that one I took out. Alright, this ain't too bad. Well, I'm not gonna say that because last time I said that, I ended up losing. And oh no, that's why I don't want to shoot the big stingray. You pretty much can't avoid it then. So far, it's good. It's been a while since we've seen Amoeba. Alright, this whale is a good guy. It'll give you energy. And bombs. And a shield. That's a good jumbo whale. And just before the boss, too. Now this thing is weird, you can't attack it head on. You got, gotta shoot the heads of its arms first. It can be difficult when it keeps spinning like this. And spinning. And spinning. Oh boy. not have good aim today. That is weird. Yeah, it's damage points is actually the arms itself. You just want to keep shooting them. So once this head breaks off, you can't damage it anymore. That is until you get both down. Chase, you can just shoot the main body when it turns yellow. Wait, that one it rams at you. Okay, when it turns white that still well, it kind of black resembles the space jump symbol from Metroid.
Everyone's good because I'm the one taking on damage for them. That's what a good leader does. They take all the hits. Of course, I'll take all the credit too at the end. <laughs> All right, nice. We got our bonus credit. We're good. And finally, Venom 2. But not the Venom 2 you're thinking of. A separate Venom 2. Venom Airspace the second. Is everyone all right, Fox? You're on course of sneaking through Venom's back door. Good luck. Really? Looks more like the side door to me. Alright, let's go. Andrew Ross won't see this coming. Alright, we got the spaghetti attacks. And Slippy. Did I save him? I don't see the thing, but I didn't see it blow up either. I got more of these triangles. What are these? The arm from Kid Icarus Uprising? Hey, how the game does play like in Star Fox, so I can reference that. It is appropriate. Oh, hush. Yeah, thanks. I almost sound like Beetle from Wind Waker there. I mean, he has it on the games, but he's the only one that says thank you every time he buys something. Wind Waker's a fun game. Maybe I'll cover it sometime. Memory won't. I mean, it took long enough for me to get Budokai 3 finished. Better part of last summer plus this whole year, basically. Like, almost half the year. We'll see what happens. I, da, 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 da. I am missing all these shots. I still have pretty intense, but it's mellowed out some. Some, but not entirely. Ooh. Ooh! This thing is like the whale, it gives you stuff. And I only got one of the things. This thing is unique. You just shoot the inside of it. Yeah, we'll do that Peppy Pepe. Now if you watch where one's going, you can figure out where it is. This is where the one on the right goes, so let's shoot up the one I hit first. What? It did that, that much damage that quickly? Okay, that's twice I screwed this up. I, you wanna know why that's red? It's cause off screen. I got a wing damaged. I don't even know how that happened. There was nothing on the screen. It was just a few seconds before the boss too, like 30 seconds. I was like, how did that happen? I did not see a single laser. Did I not do the thing? Did I not do the thing? I'm pretty sure I did the thing to avoid it and break. Maybe I didn't break. Oh, crap. Okay, third time's charm. And no, you did not see me crash into anything. Okay, I found a shield. I took more damage than I thought it would. 
These things that break apart are a real nuisance. Okay, left or right don't matter, I'm going south. Just because I think it's a little easier to aim there. Oh, I keep forgetting to break on the second part. I'm glad I found like a defense shield right before the end. It still hit me? Oh yeah, and I died once because the thing that break apart just hit me a ton of times in a row so for some reason. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Ain't dealing with that. Oh, I forgot about that, I forgot about that, I forgot about that. It even hits me when I can't see it. Well, there's the game over screen. Look at that nice Emperor Andros. Oh man, I haven't seen this thing in years. Let's go. Yes, let's really go. And now we lost a credit. I didn't think I'd be losing this badly. Holy crap! You know, so at this point, I'll just show off the whole stage again. Why not? I want to know where I'm missing the checkpoint. Because I don't think I've seen one here. And this is a stage that lasts quite a while. Oh no. No, no. No, no. Importantly, I have yet to encounter. That was a close call. There we go. Or maybe this was from the middle. Yeah, I did hit the middle point. I just didn't quite remember it. Yeah, this is what happened when I kept resuming the stage. Oh man, it's so tough to make progress here with a single laser. Come on, I need some yellow. No. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, what was the last thing that hit me? Did he just fly right at me? Come on now. I said, come on. Whoa, 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 what? Whoa, whoa, what, what, what? You watch it, Falco. I'm trying to survive here. What are you doing? You can't be hurt by anything. I can. Yellow. Close call. And how did my laser not hit it? I have a rewind button on this emulator, but it's not working. I mapped it to this controller. Don't gotta tell me twice, Peppy. Why was I not moving out the way? Why did that ha not, not, not happen? Why did that not happen? Well, you've seen everything, so I'll steer the boss once more. 